The movie opens in 2074, showcasing a futuristic city lit up by neon lights under the control of cybernetics corporations. We get a peek inside the pinwheel robotics facility, where scientists are developing advanced cyborg models. We see android parts, electronic circuits, and chambers filled with liquid. We are then introduced to Cash, an impressive female cyborg prototype. She is seen lying still in a glass chamber, her skin artificial and her eyes shut. Dr. Dunn, the CEO of Pinwheel, supervises Cash's activation. He tells his team that Cash is special because she carries a potent liquid explosive known as Glass Shadow. He also shares with his team that this experiment could be a significant step forward for the company if successful. The board members applaud Dr. Dunn, and the scene shifts to Cash, the prototype in question. Cash is seen practicing karate with her instructor Colton. Other prototypes are watching them, and it appears that Cash is more skilled than Colton, overpowering him in the fight. She pins him to the ground and inquires about her roommate. She is worried about where they might have taken her, but Colton assures her he doesn't know anything. Later that night, Colton sees Dr. Dunn taking Cash somewhere while he is walking down the hallway. He asks Dr. Dunn about where he is taking Cash, but the doctor tells him it's none of his business. Colton brushes off his rudeness simply and walks away. The scene shifts to a later time where Cash is seen lying on her bed. She is accompanied by an audio message from a man named Mercy. He appears on the screen, revealing only a specific part of his face. He tells her that she is the most unique among all the prototypes and the closest to interacting with a human being. He advises her to find a human lover, and Cash seems happy and excited about his suggestion. Soon after, we see Cash bumping into Colton. It's clear that she is considering Colton as her human lover, and she gives him a pack of matches as a gift, which he accepts. He then goes to his room and sees Mercy appearing on the screen. He is surprised by Mercy's sudden appearance and asks who he is. However, Mercy brushes him off and asks about the matches he received from Cash. Mercy seems to be onto something and disappears from the screen, leaving Colton curious. Later, he opens up the pack of matches and finds an insect and a message in it. Later, Colton is awakened by Mercy to remind him of his meeting with Cash. Colton dresses himself and sneaks through the building to reach Cash. He finally finds her and she shows him around. Suddenly, Mercy appears on the screen and Colton asks if she knows him. Cash says he talks to her at night and suddenly they hear the guards coming. Mercy tells them to leave as he will keep an eye on them. The pair then explore a section where Pinwheel keeps deceased prototypes in a frozen state. Here, Cash finds her roommate who is nearly dead. She tells her that they plan to kill her and that Cash is next. Meanwhile, Mercy appears on a screen and warns Cash of her impending danger. Pinwheel plans to use her as a suicide bomber to eliminate the Kobayashi board of directors. He also mentions a liquid crystal glass in her body that is awaiting activation. Cash is terrified by this revelation, and Mercy tells them they have about 5 seconds to escape this danger. A siren goes off reporting Cash missing. Cash and Colton start running while being pursued by Pinwheel's authorities. They navigate through the underground pipes but are confronted by some armed men. Cash, being well trained, fights them off. Colton stands there, impressed by her skills, and they manage to escape successfully. Upon reaching and entering an elevator, they get stuck midway and are stalked by the armed men. They fire at them, and Colton gets slightly shot in the process. Cash tries to stay calm and looks for a way out of the elevator. The two climb down using the elevator ropes. Meanwhile, a firefight breaks out between the pinwheel armed men and a woman who seems to be chasing them too. The scene then shifts to Cash and Colton, who have managed to reach the outside. They run across the roof and jump the fence. Cash asks if Colton knows the city, and Colton tells her it's been a while. Shortly, Mercy appears on the screen to speak to them, but Cash suddenly starts to choke and glitch. She tells Colton that she has been activated and acts like a mad person. Mercy reveals to Colton that it's a tracking device that's causing her to behave this way. Pinwheel doesn't want anyone to know about the glass shadow inside of her. Mercy also tells Colton to get a vehicle and remain hidden for at least 9 hours. Back at the Pinwheel Institution, Dr. Dunn is terrified of Cash's disappearance. He enters his office and meets with a woman who was chasing Cash and Colton. This woman, named Chen, is also a prototype but a more advanced one. 
She is after Cash to reprogram her for her own purposes. Dr. Dunn tells her not to worry about Pinwheel and to proceed with the mission to kill Colton and bring Cash under their control. Dr. Dunn then meets with the board and announces that Cash is the first cyborg to escape using human reasoning. However, the board dismisses his claim and holds him responsible if the Glass Shadow Project fails. The doctor then suggests hiring a man familiar with cyborgs to capture Cash and Colton. He mentions a man named Master Daniel Bench. The scene then shifts to Master Daniel, who is seen caring for his prosthetic face. He receives a call from the doctor and agrees when he hears the amount of money they will pay him. The scene then cuts to the city where Cash and Colton arrive in their vehicle. Cash decides to go out alone to avoid both of them being captured. She visits a fortune teller to inquire about her lifespan. The fortune teller and her partner recognize Cash as a cyborg and attack her, but Cash fights back and escapes. Colton's confronted on the street by Daniel, who demands to know Cash's whereabouts. When Colton refuses to tell him, Daniel takes him hostage. A conflict arises between Daniel and another man, resulting in Daniel killing the man. The scene then cuts to Cash looking for Colton, but she is being stalked by Chen, the cyborg woman who wants to alter her. The woman manages to hang Cash from the building, and Cash struggles to breathe. Chen hurts Cash, throwing her from one building to another. Elsewhere, we see Daniel keeping Colton hostage and in cuffs. Daniel is a kind of man that uses drugs and a spooky man that cares too much about his skin. Daniel is inquiring about Cash's whereabouts, and when Colton says he doesn't know, Master Daniel shoots him with some chemical into his eyes. Colton asks what has been done, and Daniel says it's the third eye that lets you see further than reality. He reveals it's a crystal-based liquid that will reach his corpus callosum slowly, and eventually will put him in a desperate place. Colton now is in pain and slowly feeling drained. The scene changes to Cash where she is lying down unconscious and being operated on by Chen. She is awakened by an order from Chen and Cash is now being reprogrammed. Chen tells her there is an explosive inside of her that is waiting to be activated and she even activates it for a few seconds. But Cash begs her, saying she would do anything to make it stop and Chen disarms the crystal explosives and it let her loose. The story transitions back to Daniel and Colt. Daniel appears to be asleep, and Colt seizes this opportunity to free himself with the keys to his cuffs. He plans to find Cash, but to his surprise, Daniel is not actually asleep. He was merely waiting for Colt to lead him to Cash. Cash, in the meantime, has gone to the museum. She's fascinated by the exhibits when suddenly Colt appears. She rushes to embrace him. They begin to talk, and Colt explains the harsh realities of the world. Cash is horrified by the potential for human cruelty, but Colt reassures her that there is also goodness in the world. Their comforting conversation gradually evolves into a passionate kiss. However, their intimate moment is interrupted by Chen, who attempts to kill Colt. Daniel arrives just in time, and a fight ensues between him and Chen. It becomes apparent that the two have a history of conflict. Chen shoots a mirror, causing shards to damage Daniel's prosthetic face, which angers him, Colt and Cash seize the opportunity to escape, but Chen pursues them. Cash confronts Chen while Daniel, in a fit of rage, fires his weapon indiscriminately. Colt assists Cash in her fight against Chen. Cash manages to kill Chen by electrocuting her, and the pair escape before Daniel can reach them. They enter an underground tunnel and encounter a man. Cash informs him that they were sent by Mercy, and the man allows them to enter. The place appears deserted, but it is actually a community organized by Mercy. Mercy communicates with them through a screen, informing them that they will escape to Mombasa by renting a boat. However, Colt is hesitant, fearing legal repercussions. Elsewhere, Daniel is seen driving recklessly. He has completely lost control, consuming numerous drugs and vowing to kill Colt and Cash, who he blames for his disfigured face. Meanwhile, Colt is being treated by a doctor who removes a poisonous crystal from his eye. That night, Mercy talks to Colt about love, and he ends up making love to Cash, sharing a night of intimacy and passion. Soon after, we see the legendary Mercy in his solitary confinement. Pinwheel has dispatched all his armed men to capture Colt and Cash. Mercy informs the duo about their escape plan and directs them to their escort. Upon reaching the designated location, they meet their escort and inform him that they were sent by Mercy. 
However, it turns out that their escort is under the influence of Daniel. Unaware of their impending danger, they trust him. Before they can be escorted, Colt must engage in a fight, and his opponent turns out to be Daniel. Initially, Colt gains the upper hand, injuring Daniel severely. However, Pinwheel's men arrive to apprehend the fugitives. After a brief pause, the fight resumes, becoming increasingly brutal and bloody. In the final showdown, Daniel realizes he can't outmatch Colt's skills, so he resorts to cheating by using a ring with a blade attached to it. He repeatedly punches Colt, causing severe injuries. Cash wants to intervene, but is warned by the escort that she could disqualify Colt. She hesitates, but then Colt manages to seize Daniel's armed hand and forces it into a ventilator. The weight of Daniel's body causes him to be decapitated by the ventilator. Colt successfully defeats his opponent. Soon after, armed men from Pinwheel arrive, causing chaos. Colt and Cash manage to escape, taking down several men in the process, however, they are eventually outnumbered. Despite their dire situation, Cash defiantly points a rifle at their pursuers. Just when they are about to surrender, a screen drops down from one of the vehicles revealing Mercy. He congratulates the duo and warns the Pinwheel men of an incoming bomb. The bomb goes off, causing disruption among the armed men. Mercy then appears and starts shooting, easily taking down most of the men. In the meantime, Cash and Colt escape, while the remaining Pinwheel men capture Mercy and take him to their headquarters. There, Dr. Dunn, who is playing golf, tells Mercy that he still has the activation button to detonate the explosive inside Cash's body. However, Mercy has reversed the system, and when Dr. Dunn presses the button, he accidentally triggers a bomb that destroys the Pinwheel Institution. The scene then shifts to some time later. Cash and Colt are now living a peaceful life in a secluded desert. The story ends showing that many years have passed. Colt has aged, but Cash remains as young and beautiful as ever, being a cyborg that she is.